Hi, this is Nick with the digitalyardcell.com and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create a hand-sewn thread look in Photoshop. And this is a quick and easy way to make your designs have that crafty, uh, handmade look. So let's get started here. Let's create a new document by clicking Command or Control N. And we want our document to be 1,000 pixels wide by 200 pixels high. I'm going to choose OK. And I'm going to open this uh, craft texture that you'll be able to download from the site. And I'm just going to click and drag. I'm going to hold Shift so it'll drag to the center. I'm going to close this. Uh, and I'm going to actually size this down. You don't have to if you don't want to. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to. So anyway, I'm going to lock this. I'm going to name it Texture. Okay, now I'm going to create a new layer over that. Uh, you can do that by clicking the little piece of paper next to the trash can, or you can hold Command Option Shift N. All right, so now we have a new layer, and I'm going to grab my brush tool, and I'm going to make sure the opacity and the flow are both at 100%. I'm going to make sure the diameter is at four pixels. I'm going to make sure the hardness is at 100 pixels. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to use this red color uh, BD2121, but you can use any color you want. Uh, I recommend not using black um, because we're going to be using uh, drop shadows and highlights and stuff, and it may not show up very well on the black. So I recommend using in color. All right, with our new layer selected, I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to click and drag in a straight line. Uh, holding Shift will make sure that you know we don't leave that straight path um, now with that selected I'm gonna hit command J four times so now I have five layers of this thread I'm gonna just select the top one click hold shift and drag to the right side of the the texture here I'm gonna select the top layer on my layers palette hold shift and select the bottom layer of the thread and I'm going to go up here to the align I'm going to choose distribute horizontal centers. And there we go. Now they're all perfectly spaced and ready for us to make them look better. So let's hit Command E, Command or Control E to merge this. I'm going to name it Thread. All right. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Liquify. I want my brush size to be 100, density to be 5, and brush pressure to be 5. And I'm just going to use a sweeping motion to go through here and I'm just gonna hit in the middle of these threads I don't wanna hit the, the tips too much because if I do we're gonna we're gonna be placing the holes for the thread to go into at the end of these and we want them to line up pretty good so try to just hit the middle and we're just doing this just enough don't ever do it we just want it to be just enough to give it some movement and make it look a little more lifelike Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go all the way to the left over here. Uh, you can pan around your uh, your canvas here. If you hold shift, you get the hand. And you can just grab and move it around however you want. All right, so now I'm going to make another layer. Command, Option, Shift, N. I'm going to move it below my thread layer. And I'm going to select select the elliptical marquee tool. You can hold down that marquee tool and select the circle. Alright, now I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to hold shift and draw a circle. It's just a little bit wider than my thread, just barely. Uh, I'm going to hit shift delete. I'm going to choose color and I'm going to use this uh, medium gray color, this 474242. I'm going to choose OK, OK, and command D to deselect so now I can go back to my uh, selection tool or move tool by choosing V and I can move this around so I'm gonna move that into place I just want just a little bit of that uh, that circle to show from out underneath the thread because the thread is gonna needs to look like it's going into that hole so we don't want a lot I'm gonna hold option and I'm gonna hit the right arrow then I'm gonna hold shift and tap right 
and then let go and line it up. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to hold Command E to merge those two whole la layers together. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing. Option, right arrow, shift, right arrow, right arrow. Go to the right until it lines up. Scroll right here. All right, there we go. Same thing again. I'm going to do this for each uh, thread. And there's the last one. All right, so now those are all in place. I'm going to select all of those layers, and I'm going to merge them. Command E. And there we go. So now we have the holes in place. I'm going to rename this layer holes. And I'm going to set it to multiply by choosing Option Shift M. All right. So now that looks pretty good. But the thread is very flat. So we need to give it some dimension. Let's go to this Effects button down here and choose Drop Shadow. Now I want to set my opacity to 50%, my distance to 1 pixel, my size to 2 pixels. Then I want to choose Bevel and Emboss, set my depth to 75, my highlight opacity to 50, and my shadow opacity to 50. Choose OK. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you could probably do a few more things if you wanted to. I'm going to link these layers to make sure that when I select one and drag, I'm actually selecting both of them. Just a quick, easy way to make some thread. Um, you know, you can make use this for patches, you know, you can use it for accents, whatever you need to use it for. Um, it's just a very simple way to give it that handcrafted element uh, in some of your designs. So, thanks for watching.